How you guys doing? Uh, today we're going to be doing just a little bit of a cold start on this little thing. Well, not really such a cold start. It's mildly, it's mildly chilly out here. It's about, I'd say 50. This thing is a random little rust. So we're going to do a little bit of a cold start on it. Check the oil on it first. That's the first thing you really want to do before anything is check your oil. The next thing you want to do is check your coolant. I never pre-checked this first because uh, I was too lazy to. Plus, on one of these little tractors, you really want to, if you don't know how to check the coal, it's best to look it up first. Luckily, I know how to do it. You both battery out of the way, so you can get in here. I'm not bringing you in here up close because. Uh, they don't really need to. <laughs> They'll sit right there. You're just fine right there. Okay. So it's good. The trick with coolant is once you see the reflect the reflection on the uh, water and the uh, radiator coolant, then you got plenty in there. If it's full to the top, you need to drain it out and fill it up properly. But drain a little bit out until it's Fold to the proper point. Okay, that's that. Now we'll uh, get up here, grab our fuel. Oh, in there. Should probably throw some uh, lead additive or some sea foam in here, but I'm not going to. Put the camera on the seat. Oh my gosh, it's been a while since I've sat in this thing. So, right there, because uh, this thing's actually pretty loud when you're brush hogging with this thing. I, I put it up at rated RPMs, which is about 1800 RPMs when I'm brush hogging. But, uh, alright, well, let's get her fired up here. here let's see. Cross fingers. <laughs> Even choke. That's pretty amazing. Not even choke. But there it is. Idling away at 700 RPMs. I'll even prove it to you that it is 700. Well, somewhere in there it's 700. So, and you may notice that the beat isn't out here anymore. You got stuff painted for it back there and you can see it over my shoulder but we're actually gonna be doing a paint job on it on the B um, just coming back here looking at my wood pile we got seven rows of wood stacked right here or six rows at a start of a seventh right there um, my plan right now is to get this fully stacked up just below the window there and stacked out to about where I'm standing and then move that thing right there the Honda Fortrex 250 out of the way and stack up that area of wood as well I'm probably gonna move this thing back there and move the bikes behind my tractor when it runs or behind the camper there uh, go out there and I'll show you the beat that's that. I'm not gonna run because uh, I kind of pulled a hamstring. Not really. <laughs> I just don't feel like running today. Okay. So the B. I pushed it out here. Well, towed it with the rancher. Got it out here. I'm looking at it right now. Sanded it down. And we were gonna prime it yesterday, but my painter did not come out. So. Here it is. I got it sanded down. It's got this yellow primer on there, which you can see right here. That was on there since factory. And this thing was bought new in 1945. This tractor is a 1945, according to the signage book, and tractordata.com. So, um, I, just, I just washed it. 
degreased it with some gunk. I got some foam. I got two cans of foamy and one can of uh, heavy duty gel. I gotta say that stuff works really good. Really good. I I honestly love it. Um, it could still use a little bit more, but I'm gonna call it good for right now. I'm letting it dry right now. I gotta get in there and blow off where the uh, I gotta get in there and blow off the foot panels there, or floorboard, and uh, go from there. Head back. I gotta take this with me. And head back to the window. Close the tractor off. And then I'm gonna call it quits in this video. That's all I really wanted to show you was where the bee was, the wood pile, and do a cold start on that Ford. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're not a subscriber already. Oh, and by the way, comment below. Are you interested in farming? Because I farm? Or, no, no, that's not what I wanted. 